Katie Alexander is here to say goodbye and to introduce the new county agent who will be our Lifestyles guest in the coming months, Tracy Eatonson. Welcome, Tracy. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Now, Katie, you're, yes. you're, it's not, you're not leaving your job. You're just, no, no, just I'm just passing handing, the baton. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Handing okay. it over. So, okay. Yeah. And you live in Henderson, so I it's do. closer by for you than for Katie. Yes. Well, we're glad that you're here. I'm glad to be here. We look forward to chatting about this newsletter info that we do every month. And this was a, a very interesting and a surprising topic. I, I thought, oh, okay, that is really a good idea. So, Tracy, we all, you know, everybody loves their pets and they maybe want to have a pet for their children, but it's a commitment. Definitely. It's a big commitment. So what are some of the things you'd like for consumers to think about before they make that commitment and welcome that little furry friend? <laughs> um, I, we've had pets for a long time, so there are a lot of things to think about. The, the investment, um, there's a lot of different things, food you know, that you have to purchase all the time and grooming if you have to take them in for cuts and nail trimmings and things like that, all of that. Um, also, if you have children, there are things that you want to think about, the different responsibilities that you want to give those children at the different age levels and things like that. So you want the kids to know how to take care of the animals as well. Yeah, I think we're all idealistic, right? We get, oh, it's a kitty or a dog <laughs> right. or whatever. And we and then it's time to walk it or take it out or clean up the mess. That's right. a challenge, right, Katie? Yes, yeah, the whole training. Would you think about holidays coming up? A lot of people want to give, like, the puppies yes. or the kittens or the new, you know, holidays, and it's like, it's going to take some training. It's going to be in the winter months, so it is a commitment, a, a lifelong, the you know, pet's life. And I think commitment. that's an so, important piece to, yeah. to remind people is just this is a commitment mm -hmm. and could be with you hopefully for years and years. So yes. how are some, what are some ways that the pet owners, pet lovers can save money? You mentioned grooming and maybe learning to do it yourself, Tracy. Yeah, there are some things that if you're willing, you can do it right. yourself, like the nail trimming and the bathing and mm -hmm. things like that. Well, how else can we save some money? Because it is expensive, not just for the food and for the shots and all those other things. What are some other ways we can save money? Looking for bargains? Well, bargains just like, you know, us shopping for ourselves. Um, when you're shopping for your pet, for the medicines, for the toys, the blankets, the food. Um, shop around. There's all kinds of pet stores um, that have it. Your vet clinics will run sales, especially on like the preventative type medicines mm -hmm. and things like that because it is important to take care of them um, and keep things preventative just like we do for ourselves medically. So, And uh, you mentioned there are lots of outlets and lots of mm -hmm. uh, big box stores and small stores that deal with pets. How important is shopping around to get the deal? It, I mean, if you're really wanting to save some money, it's, I mean, it's a really important, especially what's around you. You don't want to drive out of the way to go somewhere, but some places will ship. There's online places that sure. will ship things that may be a better deal um, as well. So it's really important to, to get the bargains and to shop around and ask your vet. Ask your vet for rebates, discounts. You know, they'll That's know too. Smart. So That yeah. is so smart. And I mean, sure, holiday time's going to be a good time to be watching for those deals, right, anyway? Mm -hmm. So, Tracy, how can people get hold of this newsletter? It's always so good and always so filled with information. Um, well, we will have it in our newsletter every month okay. that we send out to our homemakers. We also post it on our Facebook page so they can find it there. All right. Yeah. Well, you can find this information <laughs> and so much more. And we'll be getting a lot of information out of Tracy when she comes <laughs> back. Welcome. And Katie, thank yeah. you thank for you. your time and energy. Yeah. We'll be back with more Local Lifestyles right after this. Stay with us.